It's April 2018 and Bethesda has pleased us with another update of their creation club. Oh, and also a fast 1.1 gigabyte update that everybody has to download for the Skyrim Special Edition, unless he plays in offline mode. Let's take a look at the new stuff that is now available in the creation club. First and foremost, we have the backpacks. This adds a few new backpacks to the game, integrated into the level at list. Pretty nice, huh? Well, the problem is, this shit already exists since years. There are several backpack mods out there right now to download for free. And they are bigger and better and available since years. So it's nothing new. I mean, there are nice backpacks for sure, but uh, it's nothing new, man. Also, Campfire is one of the new creations added in this April update. It's basically a camping mod. Sleeping in the outside, making your own campfire, stuff like that. Campfire? Yeah, that reminds me of something. The mod Campfire, who already adds this exact same shit since years. Bigger and for free. Again. This is nothing new. This is already there. It's a mod. Campfire. It does exactly the same thing. So what's now the point of doing another imitation of that mod and one charging for it? You're doing a bad imitation of something that already exists for free. You want to charge money for it. This is insulting. It's the same with the new housing mod. A nice little shack in the tundra outside of White Run. Well, it's a nice house and stuff. Yeah, sure. But it's just so completely pointless. I mean, who, who, who it, why? Just, just, you know, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of housing mods out there to download right now for free since years. I mean, this is just another custom player home just like all the other hundreds of custom player hopes available and it's not even one of the best ones, not even closely. There are way better ones for free since years available. I mean, at this point, I'm just at the end of my knowledge, you know. They're doing this now again. I uh, Many people already have thought that Bethesda learned something because they stopped releasing this stuff for a few months. But they, they learned nothing. They keep bringing us those creations that are just poor versions of bots we already have for years. So let's get back to the homestead, right? It's a nice little home, I guess. Yeah, nothing fancy. Uh, the problem is just, what's the point of trying to sell me, for three dollars by the way, a player home, if I can just download one of the hundreds of player homes that are available since years and most of them are even better and bigger. I mean, it's dumb. It's completely ridiculous. There's also the Nyx Hound, a Nyx dog companion for the player. So it basically adds a few hostile Nyx mobs to Soul's time and one of them is friendly and you can adopt him like one of the many dogs you can adopt in Skyrim. Mm, that's nice, little, alright, but it's nothing that is worth paying just one buck for. I mean, Again, if you're into that kind of stuff, it's out there. There are mods adding literally Nyx Hound companions, exactly just the same in the game, but in a more with more variations. Again, in a bigger way, and it's 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 for free. So, uh, why should I now buy this stupid Nyx Hound if it's al already available since years for free? It's the same with Shadowrand. 
this adds, like the other artifact creations, Shadowrand, a weapon from Oblivion, to the game. It's a nice little quest, uh, a very, very short quest. Basically, it's just one mob you have to kill and then you have the weapon. And it's uh, really unimmersive. The quest just starts the second you boot up the game. So if you're running with a new, fresh character outside of Helden, pop, you have the quest in your quest log. It, it feels just like Bethesda thinks the customers of their creation club are so dumb that they can't do a proper quest or find it out themselves and need to get the quest stuffed without any explanation unimmersively into their quest log. But most likely Bethesda is right and the customers who buy such a crap are idiots indeed. Also this is already available as a free mod since years for free. But the point is just, it's completely the price is out of relation. Shadow rent is like three bucks, right? Three dollars. And it's one sword and one mob you have to kill in order to get it. How is this in relation to, for example, Dragonborn? I don't even want to compare it with the Skyrim main game. Let's just look at Dragonborn, right? Dragonborn was like 20 bucks when it was released the first time and it added a few new armor sets, a few new weapons and an entire new island, quest, fully voiced and so on and so on, spells, shouts and so on and so on. So if you now st tell me one sw sword is costing three dollars and it's, it's the same they have released previously bows and staffs also for the same price. So how is this in relation? I mean, if I buy all that stuff, I pay 20 bucks, let's say, and I've got like five swords and th three stuffs and one X and that's it and nothing more. But on the other hand, I have an entire new island with a lot more stuff and more than three times the amount of weapons and armors. I mean, it, it, it's completely in no relation to each other. It's pointless. It's just ridiculous if they're trying to sell us stuff that we have for free since years better. So if they would have done something new or something bigger or you know just just something right maybe Creation Club could work but this is clearly not what they are going for. This is not what they are trying to do. Everybody has to realize at this moment it's just a cash grab. Nothing more. It's just an attempt to grab the cash of people who don't have the knowledge or are just stupid and don't understand that they are getting ripped off here. An important point is also the fact that Bethesda promised before the Creation Club was released that everything released there will be original content and not mods that already exist this way. But since today every single creation available for purchase in the Creation Club already exists as a free mod. Period. 